Hi, fishy folks, and welcome to part two of Super Breeder Doug's Fish Room. Say hi, Doug. Hello. Guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Obliterate the subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And of course, hit the symbol. <laughs> and when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com for possibly some guppies that you see here. Snack and a beverage. Tell me what it is. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I hope you have a snack and a beverage. We're still in Super Breeder Doug's fish room. Over in these two little tanks, we have some platies. Exactly. And behind, you said behind the filter are some yeah, green, green laser, laser cores. Oh, like orange laser cores. Orange my, laser cores. There's like two of them. Yeah, I think I have three. Okay. Because they're hard to get. They're expensive yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And you're cheap. Yeah, exactly. I actually got them from Reef to Rift. Oh my god, what are these spectacular things? These are the fire black Moscows with the females with the long dorsal and wow. the tail. Those and are spectacular. A lot of Java moths to protect the babies that they've had. Because, because they like to eat they the babies. They eat babies like, uh, like I eat chicken tenders. You know why? Because. Tender and delicious. Okay. That's why. So... Some people are going to say that you shouldn't keep a guppy in, like, a Dixie cup worth of water. But clearly, you can. Yeah, that's actually a nice female, but uh, she's blind. She's, how do you know she's blind? Uh, well, when I had clean water, I could see one eye was... Both eyes were, like, gone. Got it. All so right. So I figured, you know what, I don't want to kill her. Right. And so, you don't want to breed her. So. Apparently, yeah, I don't want to do that. And apparently, i, I got to change the water. Yeah, but she's probably fine in there. She's doing all right. She eats. Anything the in there? The a uh, really nice uh, full red that came out of that, one of those tanks that crashed. So I oh, there she is. Put a male in there. Not really in there, but I put them in another tank. Gotcha. And down here? Yeah, that is the uh, the red grass, which I entered some in the red bicolor class and did well. Nice. I and, like, uh, I like I grew the grass. those outside this year. They were my outside guppies. Really? And outside guppies, huh? Yeah. And the weird thing that happened is the color in the female's tails is almost gone. The males look normal. The females just have almost no color in the tail. Huh. I don't know if I have any other females in the other two tanks that weren't born outside, but they should be a darker uh, bluish pattern. Interesting. The males look the same. And these are a, a kind of a cross ab going of uh, their Medusa, Galaxy, Nebula, God knows what, uh, but if you notice, some females are yellowish. Yeah. They're, they're actually are gold medusas. So they're gold body compared to gray body. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any males, I don't believe, in there, but I have a few females. So the next of, of the gold. Yeah, 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 because there's a gray male. Yeah, a lot of uh, gray males, and these are nice. There's a couple of those males in there they are going to get separated. They probably won't go anywhere. I was going to say fly. They probably won't... Uh, drive their little car over to the uh, front, but like this one has a different tail pattern. Oh, yeah, it's got that and a weird spot. spot. Yeah. A nice spot. That's weird. So there's a few others like that in there. So they're going to end up in another tank someday with females that are uh, just bred. Right, right. Because what you want to do with guppies, if you're going to make a cross, you want to use virgin females. Yep. Or you want to use a female that has just dropped. Because... If they've just dropped fry within a couple of days, they're less apt to store the uh, baby makers from the prior guppy. It's okay. You can say sperm. I can say sperm? Yeah, that's oh, fine. <laughs> and uh, the new male will hit the female, and you'll get a more immediate uh, result. So while we're here, I see many awards up there. Plus, obviously, he's a Philly fan and a yeah, yeah, Eagles. Philadelphia Eagle fan. No and soccer stuff. No soccer stuff, because he's a loser. But <laughs> but also we have this first place for black female at oh, yeah. South Jersey Guppy Group. Yeah, that was actually... It's a nice plate. Yeah, and that was actually the annual. All which right. Which means the best fish there is coming to that. There's best fish. In the country. Yeah, wow. And uh, the females that I sent were... Well, I drove up were incredible. And it was next to Hooters, so we had good food. Nice. Yeah, Hooters is known for their... Food. Actually, I like Gooder's wings. They're burgers. And they're, yeah, they're wings. And their burgers are fantastic. All right, what do we have here? Yeah, these are more uh, half like reds from my friend uh, in Ohio. These are uh, Jean Baudier and Stan Schubel crossed. Uh, for people that don't know, Stan Schubel is like almost the modern father of the guppy hobby. He's got a great book 
called Proper Care of Guppies, which is out of print, sells for a lot of money. Sometimes I put one on eBay for 50 bucks because I gotta buy more fish food. Next time you put one on eBay, before you put it on eBay, let me know. Oh, there's one on there today. Oh, all right. And uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's them. And down here we have some creepy These looking are, things. Yeah, are they not cool? They are, they are not uh, cool, they are creepy. <laughs> they are leucistic axolotls. They're not albinos, they have black eyes. But they're black pigment? Yeah, the eyes. Yeah. They're pink. I don't know how to spell leucistic. But it's, I can't even pronounce they call them cystic. Lucy. And they, they had these... Uh, oh, yeah. You got to see these really cool uh, alien-looking... Now, these are... Uh, they start as a dot. They're born in a gel. And, of course, none of them will move. There's, there's one... There's one there's right one there, yeah. And I'm probably killing with shock. Stop knocking. Yeah. So, <laughs> you, you can barely see it. See where my finger is? There's like a... A clear egg sac of axolotl baby. And look, look, there's some right there. See? There's two of them right there. They are creepy as poop, but cool kind of at the same time. And they completely develop in that sac. Right. And then they drop out, but then the sac is still in the tank, and I don't know how I'm getting that out. Yeah. I, mean, that is, do they eat it? No. And that is complete goo. It's goo. It's like uh, you can't even pick it up. It's like slime if you had kids in that slime. Yeah. Uh, these are more of uh, Tony's fish. These are. Uh, I don't know what that one says. They are. Probably He's got a Shubel, label. Shubel Bodier, probably full reds. Full reds. Okay, very nice. Yeah, got some sure. Rapashi. And these are uh, Black Deltas. Now, these, uh, that award I got, some of those uh, females came out of the, these. This one in the back is. What's the difference between a Black Delta and a Black Russian? It's like a half black. Uh, Fish. Oh, okay. Now these females get really wow. nice, they get long ass, or long uh, <laughs> dorsals. Look how long that tail is. And uh, nice tails, and they uh, stay a jet black. And the more black you can get them, the more points you're going to get when uh, they add them up. Because for females, they can only get, they get a little extra points, like this one you're near with that really long dorsal. Yeah. And She's huge. Yeah, and that's, uh, you get extra points for the dorsal, but you get more extra points for the color. Okay, and we got another huge snail. Yeah, that's Subaru number two and three. They like to uh, hug each other. Uh, yeah, oh, these... not there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> well, these are pink pingus and the real deal. They're from Japan. The real deal Japanese mm -hmm. pink pingus. Yeah, I was able to get these in 2007, and uh, I brought them to my house and bred them and bred them and bred them. And started selling some uh, on Aquabit and got these back in the hobby. They were out of the hobby for about 30 years. Wow. And somebody imported them, didn't know what they were, and had them in totally different tanks. They didn't know they were related to the males. And I just knew from looking at them, I was, thought I was, hit the lottery. I'm looking at these things thinking, my God, these are fantastic. They get a metal head, bluish purple color. Right. The tails don't get big on the males, but they get like a little sword at the bottom. Oh, yeah. And a bronze tail, and the body is pink. They look spectacular. They're, uh, they're unusual. Uh, some people hate them. Some people don't like the small guppies. Yeah, I, I, I go back and forth. I don't like endlers. Yeah, I don't understand endlers. Yeah. I don't know what that is. No. All right, there's Subaru number three. Yeah, he's in there. And these and are uh, you've got a, reds. a couple reds. Yeah, there's a couple, a couple of tanks of, of reds, a couple, holy yeah. Jesus, lots of reds. Yeah. But these are different. These are... Right. When we get to that. Yeah. But so these, these are, are just uh, full reds. One batch I was growing out, and uh, these females are having these unreal sized batches of babies, as you can tell. Yeah. And uh, I, don't, I haven't culled anything out of there. And you can see every male is pretty much the same as the other one. Yeah, they're you pretty know, damn nice. The dorsals are the same, the color's the same. And some people get full reds that get red all the way up to the snout. If right. The guppy has a snout. And mine don't. Right? It goes up to the eye. Now, I actually bought full reds from the guy in Maine that uh, created full reds. His name was Ed Chiazon. And uh, he sent me a certificate that I was allowed to sell them, which is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. And I believe these are related to it, but these are not the ones I bought from them. Okay, all right. And the full red females have yellow on the tail. Yeah, it's a little weird. And uh, one of the guys who looked at one of my videos, probably as one of your subscribers, 
it said I should select females with the yellow and just go back to the males with them and see if it makes a difference. Hmm. So I'm going to try that uh, if I ever free up a tank. Okay. All right. So the next tank is the uh, cross I made of al uh, albino full uh, reds to uh, Russian red lace snakeskins. I really just wanted to get uh, better looking uh, fish I could cross into the albino, full red albinos. And this fish looks nothing like I was after, but I love them. Yeah. I they have an amazing dorsal, the males. Yeah. The females have a great shape. The color pattern in the tail is really I mean, even this female with the cobra or snakeskin tail, right? Yeah. That That's amazing. Yeah, they're, they're really the only ones I have, so obviously I'm yeah. figuring out what to do. But eventually I'm, I'm going to pull out the few with the red and yeah. blackish tail. Yeah, those females, look, look great. And match them to the males. The rest of the tanks appear reds. So more this one, reds. These are the breeders. Uh, you can see these males are a little bit noticeably better. They're really long dorsals, large tails. I think a beautiful shade of red, like a like a Marlboro red. So, so why don't you explain why you have so many reds? Yeah, the reds, I wanted to try entering the red Delta class in the IFGA shows this year. And you really need, you, if you send about six entries, because you could send as a single entry, or you can send what's called a tank entry, which is a matched male to them. So you need a lot of fish to get to seven shows done. And this class is so competitive, and my fish aren't big enough or nice enough yet, that I figured I'm just going to flood it and try to get seconds and thirds and build the points up that way. All right, all right. Because I'm a cheap uh, guy. guy. Yeah, gotcha. So the rest of them are just uh, more red. Okay. So down here. Yeah, this is uh, year two of our fish room tour. This is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> these are red grass. There's a lot of babies in here. Uh, there's a lot of guppy grass in here and in the back. I shoved it in the back by the filter. I actually really don't like guppy grass. This is the only tank it's doing okay in. The rest of them, it gets like a, an algae. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's a pain in the neck. I don't do well with guppy grass. I have some, but I, I like java moss way better. Yeah, java moss is yeah, better. Yeah. Okay. So that's them. There's no males in here that I know of. A couple young ones. This one has a couple of pear and a lot of babies. And green water. Yeah, so not green water. Green, green. water not green water yeah it's it's totally uh <laughs> mind-boggling yeah. because the same light is over all three tanks yep same intensity it's not even an led it's a uh, fluorescent old school yeah now um because i can't get the plug out to put an <laughs> led in there <laughs> green water is good though i love green water yeah new from uh yeah green water is good because the nutrients in it will actually help the fish grow yep all right what do we got and going on next here time, these are black deltas again uh, you'll see a couple of females, not to stick my finger in the camera, like this one with a mm -hmm. really long dorsal. Mm -hmm. I get some of each. Even her pecs look big. Yeah, that's uh, good for her. All right, guys, i got to switch hands because there's... Let me show you where I am. Yeah, it's a little cramped. So, I'm a fat guy, and you can see how <laughs> narrow this is, so pardon the switching. Yeah, the, the next three tanks are going to be Pingus. Pingus, the pink Pingus Very, from Japan? Uh, Degrees in them. Some of them just have a lot of babies. Lots of babies. Some of them have uh, full pairs and trios. The pingu is a colony breed because I don't want to start messing with crossbreeding anything. Right. Because it's going well for 12 years. I'm not going to. Yeah, mess yeah. Up. I agree. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going down low, which doesn't yeah, happen for a fat guy often. So. Yeah, there's a couple of failed uh, plucko. All right. Uh, we don't need to see failed plucko. Yes. And the next thing, these are uh, yellow lalupi. African cichlids I got from Tom Galuli. Oh, big old Tom Galuli. Tom, one of the best eaters and worst New York Jets fans in history. <laughs> and a pair of angels. And a breeding pair of angels that's too old to be viable. Yeah. All right. Let's scooch over here. We're scooching. We're scooching. And uh, we talked about these. Those were plecos, right? Yeah, there's, there might be one in there. Okay. And the other one's got nothing. All right. So. We've lost that. I think, I think that's it for this part two. Yeah, if you want to do a part three, I'll show you the stuff upstairs. It's quick, there's only about nine tanks. Only nine tanks. How many tanks are here? I don't know. I stopped counting. Uh, I changed it around. It might be about 80. 80. Damn. I only have 55. 
That's okay. You'll have 80. Yeah. That's what happens. Probably. You don't stop. Yeah. All right, folks. Go go get another beverage and refill your snack. We're going to go see part three, which is really going to be the second half of part two. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. We're in the fish room expansion, which is just like a computer room and uh, an all around storeroom for crap like we all have. Exactly. And I just have to show you some really cool, like I'm not big into Captain America, but that Amazing Fantasy, that's really cool because I was really into you know Spider-Man when I was a kid. Even cool about the Captain America is I have the original actual Oh my God. Game. Comic book nerd I coming out. It when I was 17. Wow. Well, so you had that originally. You didn't yeah. like buy it. No, I was an idiot. I, I had all my, I still had the Silver Surfer ones, which are really worth some money. Wow. But when I turned about 17, I, I felt like some peer pressure from friends. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Read comics. And they said, well, you have this crap around. So I ended up ripping the covers off and throwing them out. Oh. But I, I taped them back on certain ones. I, I, real quick, I had a Hulk 381. Very Do nice. you know what that is? Yeah, that's, uh, or I think it was 181. 181, yeah, yeah. Wolverine. First appearance of Wolverine. That's worth it. And oh. I was late on an insurance payment and I sold it to get insurance. Yeah, I'm kicking myself. Anyway, Oof. let's go back. We yeah, have some guppies. Exciting. Yeah, uh, you just let me know if I talk too much, but... Uh, you talk too much. Okay. <laughs> so what are these? <laughs> these are another line of the Black Moscow's. Not as nice. Uh, I get some nice ones, like that male, but you'll see some males that have a really crappy tail edge. Yeah. It's really because there's too many fish and they're eating a the tail. Looks like food. So it doesn't Tastes grow like, like that. Yeah. You can actually put them on a piece of glass and slice the tail with a razor blade. I don't do that. No, and it grows back. Really? Yeah. I don't do that. So. Okay. This is an experiment you should never do. Jars. I crossed uh, it's a one-gallon pretzel jar. Yeah. I crossed yellow deltas with uh, black moscows. And have you gotten anything? I don't know. All these light color females are the next generation. I have no males other than the, the shitty one. Crappy one. <laughs> and this is... Uh, these are either red lace snakeskins or the cross of red lace to albinos uh, same with this one yeah now i use these things once in a while if i have a female close to dropping it works great you put yep. an air stone in yeah java moss they have babies you pull you her out, out and then you have them that's that's a, i like that that's always one of my conundrums if i don't colony breed which i usually do because it's easy and i'm lazy um is i'll i have and i've talked about this in videos i make a separate tank put a fat female in there let her drop, then I take her out, put her back in the colony, and I put a second, a different female in, and get that one to drop in okay. there. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. This is the lazy man's method. Yeah, well, so, I mean... Yeah, I'll take these out so you can actually see the tanks. Okay. Because that's in the way. So this first tank is, uh, is ones with that long swallow female. Yeah. That's the next generation. And Those you can look see, nice. I've called nothing. These are growing true. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah. And there's probably about <coughs> five females with I'm the fine. long thin. Uh, yeah, I see thin. that. I don't. I don't like those. I like them without that tail. But. Yeah, I don't blame you one bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is a a cold tank of black moscows. <laughs> and these are real nice yellow deltas, real nice yellow color. But I got to get them out of this tank and into something else. Yeah. Is that a yellow, a gold ram? Yeah, it's a breeding pair of rams that if you can get the female in there, if I get out of your way, she's breeding colors are there. They're oh gonna, yeah, they're gonna breed today or yeah. You know, well, so so you have a a blue ram and a gold yeah, ram. German blue and uh, yeah, gold. See, it's, it was hard to get females. I got the gigantic males from Reef to Rift. Right. They get these unbelievable rams, gold, blue, whatever. But they could only they only had males left. Huh. So I actually got that female at Petco like three months ago, but it was a nice color. And it's developed into an incredible fish, and I was right that it was a female. That's good. So I guessed for a long time. I, I When I first, first started YouTube, I had rams. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got some videos, old videos, of them breeding and uh, raising the babies. And then when they got two weeks old, uh, they, they ate them. They ate them because they're tender and delicious. Okay. So like yeah. I say. So if you're a sports fan, pretty cool Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Versus Philadelphia Phillies. When they were the Devil Rays. Now yeah. they're just Rays. Well, yeah. I was going to say that sounds weird, but. Yeah. 
Devil's that's old. Bad. Devil is not. Devils, yeah, correct. yeah. I had a soccer team that was called the Blue Devils, and I named it after the Red Devils, which is yeah. Manchester United. Oh, and it was my kids team and I had a woman that said you know my sons want to play on your soccer team but I won't let them because you have devil in the name and I'm a very devout Catholic and I said okay and that was that all right there is that it? oh no there's, there's one more yeah these are uh, Russian red lace snakes guys Russian red pretty nice snakes. ones yeah, yeah. Uh, there's once in a while I have to call because I get no snakeskin pattern but I did use those males the regular females and they actually had the uh, normal babies so the genes are in there so right now that's a that's primarily males but there's some females in there there's actually some babies in there what do you got what 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 is that what's the plant it's a it's water spray but it's a uh, thin leaf thin leaf water spray thin leaf water spray it's pretty amazing because it grows well and it provides enough cover for the babies yeah and it doesn't like slop up the tank and it sucks up nitrates yeah that male in the middle is amazing oh yeah he is if he's still alive in april i'm going to be uh shipping three of these males to the uh ifga show in april I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to buy these where is that igfa show uh i don't know where the first one is it might be like chicago Midwest. do you ever go to those shows yeah i went to a few i went to ours the south jersey group yeah yeah i didn't make the last one uh and i couldn't even send fish but uh, I usually go and help out. It's a nice time. Yeah, yeah. You eat, you drink, you talk about fish. Yeah. And guys lie. And that's true. And I, I just have to comment. <laughs> what What is that tank? Oh, you know what? That is, I don't use it anymore lately because I think it's got a slight leak. Long, uh, long fin. Used to be a uh, manufacturer. It's an actual male bed tank. I love it. And these uh, pieces of glass go in between. You can keep uh, seven mil. Bags. If you don't want that, I know, might know someone who will take it off your hands. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm Although if it that. leaks, I don't want it. No, it does leak. That's uh, just, yeah. You can see that lifted up. Yeah, I don't want it. And it came with these pieces of glass. Yeah, I see it's got the dividers all, the like... Nice clean piece of glass. Yeah, so they can see each other. And uh, you just drop it in. Yeah, I like it. And uh, it's kind of cool. Now, somebody has come up with another version of that. Yeah, I've seen. Deep and, blue, I think. Okay. And that's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. That's the fish rooms. The fish rooms. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Super Breeder, Super Guppy Breeder Doug. Don't forget to check and out. One air pump's running all these. One air pump running That's all a pretty these. good pump for people that have like about seven or eight tanks. Danner. Air that's pump. Nice AP8. Pump. Yeah, you can get that for like 20 bucks online. Oh, that's cheap. And it's uh, adjustable. Oh, okay. All right. It goes even higher. All right, guys, don't forget to check out Gray D. Yeah, Gray D on Aquabit or Gray D, D on Gray Aquabit on YouTube. And D Gray on YouTube, yeah. It's the same guy. Same same handsome little devil right there. Yeah, losing the... Losing and, yeah, that's all right. And, uh, you know, Doug and I, this is actually our first time meeting, but we've we've jabbed back and forth about Subarus and Nissans, and it's true, Nissan is <laughs> a piece of crap. <laughs> well, I'm getting less hair. You're looking like me. Joining you. <laughs> hi, fishy folks. Welcome to part two of Super Breeder Doug's Fish Room. Say hi, Doug. Ooh, hi, Doug. All right, guys. Grab a snack and a beverage. You know the deal. Smash, obliterate, annihilate the subscription button. Boop. You can't see that. Boop. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Oh, it's over there. I'm going to start over. Blooper number two. <laughs> hi, fishy folks. Say hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. That's <laughs> <laughs> Take three. Yeah. Hi, fishy folks, and welcome to part two of Super Breeder Doug's Fish Room. Say hi, Doug. Hi. Before we get started, guys, do me a favor. Just annihilate the subscription button. Gently boop the subs... No, see, I... I always do that. I don't know what we're booping and smashing. We're so. smashing and booping. <laughs> Take four. Look at the camera. Ding. Yeah, that would be funny. All right, here we go.